What's up, everybody? Walking in love with horror. I'm AJ. I'm Christy. And y'all, we just got a, got out of the theater and we just watched Cuckoo, and it was a uh, 35 millimeter print. It was. Which, before we get into the actual out of theater reaction, I gotta say that 30, uh, 35 millimeter print was actually dope. It was. It reminded me of like the old school theater feels, seeing like the the splotches and stuff pop up on yeah. the screen, them having to like shift the corrections and stuff like that. It was just a dope. A th uh, theater experience, especially because we saw it at the Sif Egyptian here in Seattle, which has that nice old school feel. It too. does. So I just want to preface that and say that was dope. Now on to the actual movie, y'all. So uh, what do you think? I'll give it to you first. What do you think about Cuckoo? I thought it was theater. great. It is a mind fuck, and it was a great mind fuck. I thought it was really excellent. Performances were great. The story was awesome. Yeah. Um, it definitely has some issues, like some of the the writing and decisions that were made in there were kind of yeah. dumb and there was a couple tropes in there that i didn't really like either um but ultimately i thought it was a really great film no nah, I, I concur on everything she said y'all uh cuckoo is super dope it's got a uh nice atmosphere it's got a creepy vibe it's got some mystery to it where you're wondering like Man, what the hell is going on mm -hmm. it's shot beautifully it's a great looking movie especially on that uh 35 millimeter uh film uh it, it was a very interesting concept and story too uh, I like the the writing as well. Even the music choices. Oh, the music was excellent. Yeah, the music yeah. choices were, was really dope too. Uh, it's just a great uh, horror, thriller kind of mystery experience. Yeah. Uh, and there's even some great, um, I, I'll say jump scares, but just some, they some were good. very creepy sequences I was like, that, Ooh, that were, got me. were very effective. <laughs> like you were on the edge of your seat. Uh, but this was a very well-made film. It surprised me. I, I wasn't really expecting anything going in because mm -hmm. I didn't really look into this movie, into this film too much. But I did see that the writer and director of this did that movie. Uh, I think it's called like Luz or something like that. That's one that's on my list. I've been I've been wanting to watch. But now that I've seen this, I definitely gotta, gotta go back and watch that film because he wrote and directed this one and it was super dope. Y'all mm -hmm. check out Cuckoo when it drops August uh, 9th. Yeah, August 9th. It mm -hmm. is a thumbs up for us. This is another. Man, we've been getting dope horror films like back to back. This, yeah. this is another one. And like, Neon. Neon. Neon is killing yes. Neon is going crazy right now. Uh, I can't wait to see, you know, what else they got coming to the coming to the table. But Cuckoo is another hit for them. So shout out to Neon. Shout out to Cuckoo. Go check it out. That is our out of theater reaction, y'all. We'll see you on the full non-spoiler review. We out. Peace.